This mobile home in El Mirage is where Pamela Davis was running Love's Helping Hands LLC caring for disabled vets, where police say none of the disabled patients are actually vets. Sergeant Robert Peoples says they were neglected by Kimberly Washington, an employee who left her shift about half an hour early on Monday without telling Davis. The patients recounted how Washington was often intoxicated on the job, even to the point of passing out once, which meant the residents often got mixed up meds or no meds at all. I'll tell you what, this was interesting enough and it, it's to a level that I, ha I have not seen uh, investigated as far as the elder abuse on this goes. Then police discovered Davis didn't have a license from the Department of Health Services to even run her business and had been denied one in the past. And Pamela Davis said that she, given that facility, she was not going to be able to get a licensing for that structure. Davis and Washington were both arrested Wednesday and we tried to find out whether there were still any patients at the facility. Yes, sir, hey, my name's Spencer Blake. I'm with Channel 3 and Channel 5. No, 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 we just had heard that there were some problems okay, here. We're wondering if people are still getting uh, care here. A woman across the street says she didn't know Davis was unlicensed but had heard her employee was under the influence at work. I saw one of the residents uh, packing up uh, but I didn't see the other residents leave. But I also see them on a daily basis and have not seen them. So I don't know when they left. Pamela Davis. Meanwhile, Davis already appeared before a judge and has two more scheduled court dates next week.